Hey y'all and welcome back and thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, so we are going to be doing a part two eye look using the Nomad Berlin Underground Palette. A lot of you asked for me to do another look with it, so that's what I'm going to do today. If you guys enjoy me doing eye looks, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It would mean the world to me and let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so in the last look, I used this mint shade, this shade for my lower lash line. I used this shade and this shade. I don't think I used this shade. I, I don't remember. Um, but today I want to focus on the other shades, obviously, that I did not do last time. I want to play with the black because it swatches like a dream. Um, I said I don't really like the red and the purple, but I might use it today. Um, I know I used this shade in my last video as well. I just remembered that. Um, that one's really pretty. Uh, I want to use this one, Held In, Poor But Sexy. I want to use the wall. Um, I don't really know what I want to do. I know when I did my last video, I didn't know what I wanted to do either. And I just started putting stuff together and it actually came out really well. So hopefully this will happen again for me this time. Um, <laughs> but I, oh God, what do I even want to try using first? I mean, I'm wearing like an animal print. Maybe I'll like do a fall theme with this palette, even though this whole palette is like grungy fall themed, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to use the shade. I don't know how to pronounce that in my crease, but I'm going to do it like lightly because I don't want, I don't want it to be like too dark because so far these shades are like extremely pigmented, like extremely pigmented. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, I barely even put my brush in there and it really like gives you the color. And I'm going to just like barely lightly put the color here and kind of keep it darker on my outer corner and I want to create that V line. Well, sort of a V line, it's not exactly a V but we're working with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now that I have the brown shade on here, I'm gonna go ahead and blend. Okay, now that these are blended, um, I'm going to go in with a darker shade just to darken it up. And I want to use the black, so I'm going to use the black. I'm just going to barely touch because the way it swatched on my arm in that Ipsy video, my god, it was pigmented. Mm-hmm. And I'm just stamping it in at my outer corner. And now we just want to blend. They actually are blending like really well. Look at that. Like a dream. Okay, I'm gonna like get really close. I want you to look how good the black blended in with the brown. It looks so good. I'm impressed. Hey. Okay. Um, I don't know what I want to go in with next. Okay, you know what? I'm going to swatch a few, just trying to find what color I want to do next. Um, okay, first, I want to use this sh shade on the very end. That one's really pretty. Let's just... Oh. Oh, very pretty. Very pretty. 
Okay, um, let's try this shade here. Oh, look at that shade. Oh my God. It looks better in person, I swear. Let's try, let's go ahead and try this shade at Poor, or Love Parade, Love Parade, it's the purple one. Oh, that's actually really pretty. It's like, not as, it's not a purple that I thought it would be, if that makes sense. So I'm actually really into that. So then let me try the red. Maybe that's not as red as I would think. Oh, okay, so that's not bad either. I really like that. Okay, I wanna try a poor but sexy. Ooh, 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 I like that, okay. Boy, okay, let's compare it next to the other shade next to it. Mm. Man, this, this eye look can go so many different ways. I wish I was doing like a live so I can be like, which one do you want me to do? Mm. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I think I know what I wanna do. I wanna do the purple shade here in the outer corner. And I'm just meeting it like halfway. That's really pretty. I'm into that, cool, cool. So now that I've done that, I wanna take this top shade right here and put that on the inner and meet it to the middle. And you see how it kind of like blends itself together? Like you don't even really have to blend it when you're done. It kind of just does it, which is kind of cool. And you see how it, the shade looks different on both eyes. Like it's a lot darker on here and a lot lighter. That's because I have the window coming in right here. So you can see that like if you're in a darker light, it'll look like this. And if you're in a lighter light, it would look like that. So that's why they look a little different, but they definitely like change colors in the light and I kind of dig that. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, I don't know, I just, this palette is so amazing. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend a little bit because I don't want to have any kind of harsh lines. So even though they just, they blend together by themselves, I just wanna do it anyways. I feel like we need just a little bit more black um, because the purple kind of like covered it up, but I want it just a little bit more darker. So I'm just going to take a little bit more black and I'm going to add it just on top the, of the very, very, very corner. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, so um, for the lower lash line, what do I want to do? Um, I think I want to use one of the shades that I swatched on my arm. Hmm. Do we want to do like a red? I don't know. I. Hmm. Decisions. I think we're going to just take the black shade and darken up the lower lash line just a little bit at the bottom. About halfway, well, probably half of halfway. And then it'll connect to your uh, V that you created. I'm just gonna blend a little bit of this corner out. So I tried to fix it because I did bring 
um, this side out a little bit more than this side and they don't really seem to match anymore. <laughs> I kind of messed it up. Um, I'm trying to fix it though. I think I kind of fixed it. Um, that was my bad. I kind of just went a little overboard for my professionalism here. It's not very high, so I shouldn't have done that, but it's just makeup. We're practicing or trying to get it. I'm gonna put some brown and finish it up here. Sweet. I kind of feel like the look's a lot dark now um, and that I need to like add just a little bit more some something light to it. So I think I'm just gonna add like a light sprinkle of that mint shade that I used last time because it is pretty. She knows my brother's here. <laughs> Okay, that is a lot better. One second, one second, I'll let you out of the room. Oh yeah, I like it a little bit more bright. Okay, so this is the eye look. We need an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. So now that I've completed all of the eyeshadow that I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my eyes and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Now that I'm done with everything, I'm just going to add some Kula to my face. So this is the finished look with some mascara. Oh, I messed up there a little bit and then it kind of got up here and I kind of wiped it away and had to fix it all, but ignore that. <laughs> uh, so this is the look. Again, ignore that line. Okay, so yeah, this is the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was kind of fun. I really enjoy this palette and I think that it's just a really good dark grungy palette. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this eye look. Um, it's kind of dark, but it's dark and dangerous, okay? tis the season okay so give it a like if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe before you go if you haven't already and thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye